Most people these days are trying to create video content, but so many are stopped by the myths out there about video production. I'm Mike Pritchett. And I'm Chad Lakin, and today we're gonna bust some of those myths. Cue the intro. I don't know, I think we could have done better on the intro. It's not quite Mythbusters. Look, there's always room for improvement. That, that is true, but budgets, you know, we're keeping them tight. Speaking of budgets, what's our first question? You know, Cindy writes in from Philadelphia saying that video is expensive. Well, thanks, Cindy. Yes, it is. Uh, video is expensive. Well, it's certainly more expensive than writing up a document or, or a very basic crappy PowerPoint. But sure. having said that, if you're going to make create a good PowerPoint, then maybe on par. Uh, it's a good point. And most people get very, very concerned about the cost of video. And video can be very expensive. A few years ago, Google came out with these great recommendations on how companies and individuals should be treating their video content. And they spoke about Hero, Hub and Hygiene. Yeah. And it's a really good way to think about your content because I think a lot of people that we interact with think that video needs to be expensive and it needs to be really high end. When you're thinking about always on content for your brand, like how-to videos, internal comm, CEO updates, you don't need a six person crew in a catering van. No, they don't. A simple shoot like this, two cameras, two people sitting on chairs having a chat can be informative. And for your brand, if people are interested in something that you're talking about, you're being useful, you're being helpful, it's a conversation and it's nice and casual and it's authentic. It should still look good and you should still get good, the good camera tips and the right camera tips to know what you're doing. But as you say, it doesn't need a massive crew. And my background is in the high-end video production company uh, space. and. I, Look, I'm going to be honest with you, pull back the veil. When somebody calls in and asks us to go and shoot a CEO, for example, or a, or a sales director, we go, oh, great, can we, can we do that from a helicopter over the Andes? That, that'd be amazing. You know, I think if we, if we got this 20-person this crew and we have you know, first AD, best boy electrical, we've got makeup, we've got catering truck out the front and a gaffer van, you know, they're the sorts of things that we love doing because it's why we're in the industry, right? It's fun. You pull out an Arri Alexa GT with anamorphic lenses that are worth more than your house, and it's fun. They're the toys. They're not so necessary for this kind of shoot. They are necessary for other shoots. Hollywood, great. Simple piece to camera videos like this, cool. It but it is a great excuse to go to the Andes on someone else's budget. So there's it. a reason for it all was, this. Sort it was of a stuff, great right? trip. But it doesn't have to be expensive. It can be easy. There's so many tools out there nowadays with new cameras, the phone in your pocket, apps that'll help you with the editing. So there's real no, really no excuse for not creating video content. Absolutely. And a few years ago, I would have just couldn't even fathom that I would say this, but pick up your phone, use your phone. If you've got a good Samsung or a good iPhone, new ones, They've got great cameras on board. You just have to know how to use them. So watch the YouTube tutorials, work out how to use your phone for basic interview type videos and call in the professionals when you need help in the post-production, etc. cetera. Um, otherwise there are tools out there for great little you know, bits and pieces you wanna do in post as well. Yeah, so there you go. Doesn't have to be expensive. Sums it up, nice and easy. Make sure you join us for myth number two.